Navigating the busy city streets, do you ever reflect on how your brain guides you in the right direction? Deep inside your brain, a neural network is continuously measuring and calculating your body's position in the environment. The brain's headquarters for self-positioning sits in an area called the medial entorhinal cortex. Scientists have discovered a collection of specialized cell types in this area, receptive to different features of local space. The first to be discovered was the grid cell, the neurons that provide your brain with a GPS-like function. Grid cells use your own motion to map your location in the environment and to produce a metric for space. In order to calculate position from movement, grid cells need information about speed. Specialized speed cells measure your running speed through the environment. Border cells express your proximity to geometric borders in the landscape. Head direction cells track your orientation relative to landmarks in your environment. There are also cells that respond to location but do not form a grid pattern. We call these cells aperiodic cells. All these specialized operations are coordinated by interneurons. There are two major classes of interneurons in the medial entorhinal cortex. Those that contain parvalbumin and those that contain somatostatin. We will call these two interneural classes PV and SOM for short. A group of scientists at the Kavli Institute for Systems Neuroscience in Trondheim wanted to find out how PV and SOM interneurons control the circuit of spatial cells in the medial entorhinal cortex. In the baseline state, before any intervention, signals from the grid cell formed a hexagonal pattern covering the surface of the box. In contrast, the spikes from the aperiodic cell drew up one or several larger fields with no particular pattern. We then used a pharmacogenetic tool to selectively silence the activity of either PV or SOM interneurons. To target the two subgroups selectively, we used PV Cree and SOM Cree transgenetic mice. A Cree-dependent AAV virus was injected into the medial entorhinal cortex of each group. This virus carried the gene for an artificial receptor, a DREAD. The Cree dependence ensured that the receptor was expressed exclusively in PV or SOM interneurons, depending on the mouse line. When the drug CNO is introduced into the body, it will bind to the DREAD receptors only, causing selective silencing of either PV or SOM cells for a period of hours. Silencing the PV into neurons altered the grid cell's behavior, producing random signals that almost concealed the hexagonal grid pattern. Aperiodic cells were not affected. Silencing the SOM into neurons, in contrast, did not affect the grid pattern. Instead, the firing location of the aperiodic cells became more dispersed and less confined. From these experiments, we learned that parvalbumin interneurons control the grid cells, while somatostatin interneurons modulate aperiodic cells. There was no recorded overlap between the two. This suggests that the medial entorhinal cortical network is being managed by two interneural networks that operate quite independently of each other. The independent modulation of aperiodic cells also points to these cells as a distinct functional cell category.